All right, so the next step is you have to go to the hardware store and get some of well, this stuff. Brass tubing, very thin stuff. Okay, what, how thin, what diameter, right? This is the innards of a pen. Okay, and you can see the innards of a pen pass quite nicely into this tube. Okay, just barely. Now I've crimped one end just a little bit, and I'm going to take some super glue. Okay, a little bit of super glue in here. I prefer Gorilla Glue. I love the super glue. The duct tape rocks too hold a mountain on. Okay, slide that in. Okay, now here's some other tubing. This piece is a little thinner and it fits in the other tube. Okay, in this case I'm just going to push that until it goes through and you can see it stops because it's been crimped right there. Now you could solder this but um, yeah, I don't want to heat it because of the, the actual plastic in here. So rather than heat it, I'm going to glue this also. I'm just going to slide it out a little bit. Line it with some glue. Kind of twist it and pull it out and pull it back in. There we go. Good to go. Alright, now just wipe that and let it dry. The reason we did this is because now this can fit inside our rotary tool and then we can use it to level our palette. Alright, so now it's a really thin ink pen that fits in our rotary tool. I gotta let the glue dry and then we'll come back. With the glue now dry, we can just go in here and put this in this collet. Press the button and tighten it all up. Oops, I think I went the other right way. Alright, the next step in the leveling process is take out your actual threads. Okay, so now I can push this and pull this in X and Y. Alright? leave the Z alone, the Z needs to be mounted via stepper motor. See? Now the reason is I took the threads away is well you can issue thousands and thousands of lines of g-code and wait for the machine to issue the command to go 10 inches in X which was causing me to lose a little bit of my life. Um, other than that, here it's a lot easier. So you can see if I push this I'm getting a line. Okay, But you can see the line stops right there. So that means in that area I would need to raise that platform. Okay, let's try that again. Let's go over here and draw line is a little bit lighter in that region. Okay, line stops there, continues on. So you can see, I can start, I'm starting to see a little bit of a, a pattern here. Uh, and the pattern consists of this side is either up too high or that side is not high enough. And you can get an idea about where it starts just by moving your pen around. Okay, good. So I'm trying to form a boundary here. And it's getting really hard to push right in this area.
Alright, so I'm guessing this side right here needs to come up some. Okay. Well, that's not too hard. First off, see if you can lower this side. Lowering this side is a lot easier than causing it to go up. So in this case, yeah, there is a little bit of a gap there that I can take advantage of. Okay, and just loosen the screw. Press down hard, or you can even clamp this down if you wanted to. Careful not to over clamp, because it could crack the plexiglass depending upon what kind of plexiglass you got. Retighten it. Check for that gap. Gap's a little bit better. Okay, and repeat the process. In this case, I could lower my stepper motor by a few fractions of an inch, but it looks like I I'm able to draw that line. Now I can easily get onto the piece of paper though. Okay, so that's better. I like the feel of this right here. Okay, I'm also still losing my line on this, so let's raise it in that area. To raise it, one must have to do this. First off, measure it. And how I measure things is I use 100 pound cardstock. Okay. Let's see how many of these I can fit underneath here. I can fit one. And that's 100, part, 100 pound cardstock folded in half. So one of these fits under here. Alright. Well. I'm going to loosen this screw. I'm going to put two in there. And tighten it back up. Take those out and repeat the process. Now this takes a long time, there's no doubt about it, depending upon how well you built the machine and but look at that, starting to get that line now, all the way up, all the way over, good, but I'm having a problem getting this way. Okay, so somewhere in the middle here, I gotta figure out what I can do to raise this up on this side so the middle gets equal amounts of pressure. Alright, so this is my mission for the next probably hour or two, uh, but that's how you raise and lower the platform in this build. Alright, so after about 30 minutes, I got now my platform level. I can go like this. It feels really cool too to be able to kind of move this around and it draws a pen mark wherever it's at. It's kind of like a steampunk Ouija board of some nature. Be careful not to press too, don't press down. Just kind of go with the flow because whatever media you put up here is going to be flat anyway. Think about it, it's a, it's a 2D CNC machine, so it's not like, you know, it's, it might grind its way down, but uh, it should be on a level that you're not pressing to get the pen in and out. Very cool. 
could do this for hours. All right, well, anyway, let's go on with the show. Thinking back, I thought it would be kind of silly to have to shove paper under there every time uh, I needed to make some kind of finite adjustment. So instead of that, I'm building a level table, okay? So these will now be able to uh, have really finite adjustments between here. This is a fine thread screw. And in order to mark this off onto the plexiglass, I thought I'd show you this little trick. You heat the screw up just a little bit and it sinks into the bottom plexiglass. Okay, and there it makes a mark. Same with this one. Just needs a little bit of heat. Then I'll drill those down and I'll have my finite adjustment. As you can see, now I have those actual holes marked off. Boom, boom, boom. No mess, no fuss. All right, now that I have the new addition of the leveling plate down, I've added some MDF to it, okay? And this is attached with wood screws, so onto the thinner piece of plexiglass but I can I can go like this anywhere on here and it feels the same amount of tension anywhere so that's what I want I want that same amount of tension now here I've added two bolts so I could as soon as I get everything leveled I can tighten these up now so always add a bolt on top of the other bolt that way you can tighten this one against the other one that way they can't move and if you're really secure with things, I guess you can glue, uh, just a dab of glue on the actual threads. Um, that stuff comes right off anyway. I love the weight of this stuff. This has added a ton of stability up against the bearings. So the, the bearings are now being pushed down by the weight of the MDF, the plexiglasses, and everything else. Huge, huge improvement. Uh, so now... I have about a two inch milling in Z, which I'm not even really worried about because I haven't got anything to mill two inches down deep yet. Um, but when I do, I will have that two inches. And that's it. I just wanted to kind of show you my latest update on it and how much it's improved over the time of trying to take. <laughs> Uh, the shuttle off every time and try to shove paper in it. That felt weird. The, the law of design states that if you can invent something that makes your life easier, you might as well just invent it. So this is a huge improvement. Enjoy!